Hello everyone, this is Karen from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art. I have a lot of paints left over from uh, different projects over the last uh, couple of weeks. And when I have a lot of paints left over, then it is time to spin some records. So as I mentioned in my other um, videos, I am planning on doing about a hundred um, nylon record pours. And uh, I'm at 21 so far, so today I'm going to be doing uh, four records. So just to recap how I prepare my records, I usually put a piece of tape at the back, usually just painter's tape. Then I use like a, a Lepage uh, polyfilla, uh, basically a spackle that you use to fill holes in walls. Any kind of spackle will do. So I just kind of uh, make sure the hole is filled give it about 15-20 minutes to dry and then I just put a coat of either white house paint on top or if you want you can use gesso it's your choice okay actually I'm going to mix my paint first this one's going to be a dirty pour it's going to be a black and white so these are all leftover paints this is actually a white um, house paint that I have left over. So this one's going to be just a black and white pour. I'm actually going to um, put in some silicone in this one to get a few cells going hopefully. a little bit more silicone in there. Okay. So, just flip that over. Give that a chance to settle in the bottom there. In the meantime, I'm going to get my my heat gun ready. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. marbled look here with some black and white. Okay, so that was record number 22 out of 100. Okay, 
So this one we're going to go with a little bit of black. Go with some white. Go with a light blue. A little bit of dark blue. And I think I'm going to throw in some earthy looking green here. There we go. Okay. Want a bit of silicone in there. I'm actually gonna pour just gently. Everything's covered here. That's kind of cool. I haven't done one of these before. Neat. All right, so record number 23. Okay. Do this one a little different. I'm going to um, do like an inner and outer pour on this one. Cut into this a little bit. Start off with an outer pour here of this white. I'm actually, I think I'm just gonna tip it a little. Should be good enough for the edge. Okay. Side, go with some black. This 
yellow. And a little bit of white. Gonna go with like a copper color here. And I'm gonna pop in a bit of gold. My gray is disappearing on the edge there. I think I made it a little bit too watery. That's okay. Just gonna tip that a little. Actually, I can just add, add a little bit more left in my cup, so I'm gonna get rid of that. can't go wrong with these pores um, when, when they're on records. Yeah. They all turn out pretty neat looking in the end. Pretty cool looking. All right. And the last one for today. The primary color pour. Another dirty pour. Start with the red. Some white. And some yellow. And a little bit more white. Okay, good to go. Primary colors are my favorite kind of pour. Wow, that's cool. Mm. 
not even going to spin that one, I don't think. Oh yeah, actually I will. Turned out really neat. Pretty cool looking. I'm actually gonna use a heat gun on that and see what happens. Yeah, that's different. There's a lot of different white cells on there. I'm actually going to get rid of some of that. I don't necessarily like it that much. some of that pink on the edge is a little too much. Okay. Great. So that turned out really different, this one. Really neat. Okay, great. So that was uh, Vinyl Record Pours 22. 23, 24, 25, so I am a quarter of the way is done to the 100 that I want to do. So stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.